first grade friends, today we're going to take a look at the endings ing and ed. We've talked about these before in class and have talked about how ing makes the word present tense and ed makes it past tense. Today we're going to look at how you change the spelling of root words if you want to add these endings. Remember a root word is the base word before the ending. So in the word skipping, what do you think my root word is? If you said skip, you're correct. That's the base word or the root word before we add on the ing. Here's the word hopped. What do you think the root word or base word in hopped is? If you said hop, you would have been correct. Now, what do you notice about the root word hop? I didn't just add the ed on the end. I also have a double p here. I wonder what that means. If I look at my word skipping again, I also notice I have my root word skip, my ending ing, but I had to add an extra p. Sometimes when we change a root word to add one of these endings, we have to follow what's called the 111 rule. What does this rule mean? The 111 rule looks complicated, but it's actually really easy. We have to double a consonant, like you saw the double P in skip and hopped, when the word has one syllable, has one vowel, and has one final consonant. So if you look at a root word and you're going to add one of these endings, if the word has one syllable, one vowel, and one final consonant, you're going to double it like you just saw in those two examples. I know this sounds really complicated, but I'm going to walk you through this and show you that it's actually pretty easy. Let's look at the word pop and see if it follows the 111 rule. Is pop a one syllable word? Let's clap it. Pop. It's one syllable. Does it have one vowel? Has the short O sound. And does it have one final consonant? Remember, final is at the end, just has a P. So it has one syllable, one vowel, and one final consonant. That means it meets the 111 rule. If it meets the 111 rule, we have to double the consonant before we can add our endings. So I'm going to double my P before adding my I-N-G, popping. The 111 rule also applies if I want to add ed to the end. I can't just add ed to make popped. Because it follows the 111 rule, I have to double the consonant. And then add ed. Miss Lee's handwriting is a little messy, and that makes popped. Let's look at some examples of words that follow the 111 rule and how we need to change them if we want to add ing. My first word is tip. The word tip has one syllable, tip has one vowel and one final consonant. So before I can turn it into tipping, what do I have to do? I have to double the consonant. So I doubled the consonant and added an extra p. Now I can add my ending ing, and tip becomes tipping. Now that I did tipping, let's see if you can do tipped. Here's my word tip again. What do I need to do before I can add ed? If you said double the consonant and add another p, you were right. Now you can add your ending ed, and tipped and tip becomes tipped. So now I have tipping and tipped. If you want to follow along with me, grab some paper or something to write with and see if you can do the next three words. Go ahead and pause the video and get what you need to write with. Have what you need? Okay, your first word to write down is hug. Pause the video and write down hug. Now, let's see if hug follows the 111 rule. Does it have one syllable? Hug. Does it have one vowel sound? The short U. And it has one final consonant. The final consonant is G. Now remember, because it follows the 111 rule, we're going to have to 
double the final consonant and write another G. I want you to write another G and then see if you can write hugging and hugged. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can write hugging and hugged. Here's hugging. Do you see how it has two G's now? I doubled the consonant and then I added ing, I-N-G. Here's hugged. I doubled the consonant and then added E-D. Here's what we have so far. Your next word is jog. So go ahead and pause the video and write down the word jog. After you write down the word jog, ask yourself if it has one syllable, one vowel, and one final consonant. If it does, go ahead and double that consonant and add your I-E, your I-N-G for jogging and your E-D for jogged. So write jogging and jogged. Pause the video and take as long as you need. How'd you do on jogging? Did you end up with two G's? How'd you do on jogged? Did you double the consonant before adding your ED? All right, so let's look at our words again. We're focusing on the endings ING and ED. We turned tip into tipping and tipped. But we started out with tip with only one P. We doubled the consonant. We turned hug with one G into hugging and hugged. And we turned jog with one G into jogging and jogged. I told you adding ing and ed was pretty easy. Now, there are other rules that we'll learn about later, but for today, we're just gonna focus on those words that follow the one, one, one rule. Words that have one syllable, that means you clap one time, one vowel sound, and one final consonant at the end. Words that follow the one, one, one rule, you double the consonant for. In your seesaw activity for today, all of the words are going to follow the one, one, one rule. So all you'll have to do is double the consonant and add either ing or ed to the end. On Seesaw today, you can use the label tool to rewrite your words with these endings. You can use the paint tool and write it yourself. Or if you want, just write these words on paper and take a picture. We can't wait to see how you do. And thank you for learning about ing and ed with me today. Have a good day.